my name is Emily, I'm a product expert here at Tally, and today I'm going to be walking you through your approval webinar. Today we're going to cover the types of approval structures available, how to set up an approver, and how to approve a submitted report. Let's start with the types of approval we have available. One type of approval that we have available is monetary levels of approval. You would use this option if you wanted to base your approval structure on the amount of the expense report. For more information on how to set up monetary levels of approval, check out our guide. The other option, and what we will be covering today, is linear levels of approval. You would use this option if you wanted to base your approval structure on a managerial hierarchy. I'll show you how to set that up right now. First, we'll go to Settings, then Manage Lists. It will default to the People list. Then click on a name to launch into edit mode. First, let's click on the Permissions tab. If you would like this user to approve, you'll need to give them the permission here. Now let's give our user an approver. Click on the Approval tab. The User Level Manager is the first level of approval. We're going to want to choose a user from here. Then make sure to toggle Manager Approves Expenses to Yes. If we would like, we can also set additional user level approvers here. This is the second level of approval. Once the user manager approves the report, it will be sent to all additional approvers to approve. Keep in mind, you can choose to require all additional approvers to approve or just one approver to approve before it moves on to the next level of approval. If we would like, we can also restrict the approval structure for this user to all of the approvers listed on this page by clicking here. Now let's move on to the project level approvers. First, let's save and exit. Then, let's click into projects. Then we will click on a project name to launch into edit mode. From here, let's click on the approvers tab. You might notice that this looks similar to the user level approval tab. That's because it is. Everything here functions the same way it does on the user approval page. The one difference is that the project level manager is the third approval level, and the additional project level approvers are the fourth level. Let's move on to the fifth and last level of approval. First, go to Company Preferences. Then, we'll select Global Approvers. You'll notice that we also have the default approver here. This is also important, but first let's go over global approvers. You can add global approvers much like you do additional approvers on the user or project level. The approvers listed here are the last in the approval chain and will get the final say. Now, back to the default approver. You can think of them as your safety net. If no other approvers are present, the report will default to this user. Let's make a quick change here and save. Now let's go over the two ways to approve a report. First, we go to the approval page. Locate our report and click approve. You can also approve directly from your email. Once a report is ready for your approval, you will receive an email. From there, all you need to do is click Approve. Once you approve, it will bring you to this page. If you have another tab open with Tally running, you may need to refresh in order to see this change. Once the reports you have approved have gone all the way through their approval process, you'll be able to see them on the Approved Reports page. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Emily, and as we like to say here at Tally, happy expense reporting.